guys, and welcome back to an AGTV. Today, we are going to make taco seasoning. I thought I'd show you guys a quick and easy way that we make taco seasoning here. Um, I know that anytime I can eliminate a package or can from our diet, um, that's always a plus. So, I just want to show you how to throw this together. It's very simple. I have one tablespoon of chili powder, and then I've also added half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of oregano, oregano, sorry. And then half a teaspoon of paprika. We're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. This is gonna make about the same amount as the seasoning pack you would get from the store. So that's one and one half. Then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm probably gonna cut that down to half a teaspoon. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna add this to your ground beef the same way you would when you're making tacos. Okay, so I have about a pound or so of ground beef. I also have added onions and garlic to my hamburger meat as I'm cooking it. So then all you would do is you're just gonna add in your seasonings. Okay. And then you would add in your water as well. And I add somewhere between a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. And the reason it varies is because sometimes I have a little more or less meat, uh, just kind of depending. And I like to just kind of mix all those spices in. I just kind of eyeball it here as far as how much water I think I'm going to need. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest and I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then we're going to cook this. Um, we're going to bring it up to a boil. And then we're going to turn the temperature down once it comes up to a boil. And we're going to simmer this on low until it's pretty much the consistency that you like. Okay, so I'll do that and then I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you what it looks like. So we've let this simmer about 10, 15 minutes, and you can see it's a very nice consistency. Um, it holds together pretty well. I encourage you guys to give this a try and let me know down below uh, what you think of it. And as always, guys, we appreciate you watching, and thanks so much. We'll see you next time.